Hey guys, so welcome back to Fig Jam. Today we are looking at the Tea Proof Kit by Smock. It's a dual 18650 battery mod, capable of 220 watts. This kit comes with the new Big Baby Beast, which is restricted to 2mm uh, due to the new Big Baby Beast coils. There is a piece of equipment that comes with the kit um, to extend the tank to 5mm, but we'll talk about that in the up and close. A uh, bit of a disco show on this one again, uh, kind of reminiscent to the x cubed 2. The kit was again supplied by the guys at the e Sig shop NI, so a massive, massive thank you to them for that. Uh, but enough of me rambling, let's take a look at it in the up and close. Okay, so this is the t Prev kit by Smock. Just have a quick look around the box here. As you can see, standard warning labels. The manufacturer details. On the back here, we have the contents. So if you'd like to have a look at those in more detail, just pause here. Standard smock package. Let's have a look inside the box. Okay. And the star of the show, the T Prev mod. Uh, we'll set this aside just for a moment and we'll check the rest of the contents. So inside we have the big Diddy Beast tank, we have a spare glass for the tank. We have a USB cable for charging and upgrading firmware and we also have a baggie. Because I have actually used the mod and the tank, there is a couple of extra O-rings uh, which I've already attached to this extension piece and um, also get the plate band. So this is the big baby beast. So there's not much difference compared to the rest of the beast tank range. Um, it is top fill with the top swing door as you can see. Screws apart as normal. We've got our AFC ring at the bottom which does lock off. Which is, I kind of like that style rather than it just continuing the spin. Um, we'll take it apart and we'll have a look inside. Looking at the coil here itself, uh, we'll take that out and you can see it's a pretty massive coil and um, just have a standard baby beast coil here just for comparison so as you can see there is a considerable difference now with these coils which are the new EU coils which obviously restrict the tank to two mils the standard baby beast do actually fit into the base off the deck so if I screw this in as you can see you know <laughs> there is a bit of a difference there but this is where this little fill comes into play and this screws into the top of the coil itself pop the glass back on and this allows you to use standard baby beast coils and when they're used with that extension piece, it opens the tank to five milliliters, which is a great way that Smock have went to get around the TPD compliance. You know, rather than have the tank restricted to two mil, we now have a tank that holds five mil. Enough about the tank. Let's have a look at the mod. So this is the T-Prev. It's a dual 18650 battery mod, capable of 220 watts which is similar to the Alien mod. As you will have noticed, there are cutouts around the mod, as you can see there. And this is where the disco starts. Underneath the shell, we have some LEDs, which are completely customizable. You can customize how you want them to appear, 
whether you want them to flash, whether you want them on or off. There's a lot of choices. It does remind me of the XQ2, uh, which had the LED lights just under the fire bar on this side. And uh, we have the fire bar, as I said, here on the front. Good size of the fire bar. Um, seems to be a standard addition by Smock on their mods lately. On the side, we have more cutouts, as you can see here. And at the top, we have the USB port for upgrading firmware and also charging. Moving around, we have our positive and negative buttons at the top here. And some more cutouts. Moving at the top, we have the stainless steel 510 and the screen. Now, this is the second time I've seen this on a smart device with the screen being raised with a cutout. Unfortunately, this restricts the mod to using a maximum of a 26mm tank or RDA. There's no reason for the screen to be raised. There's no reason why that 510 couldn't be centered on the mod as it is. A beefy mod as you can see. If I look at the bottom, as you can see, we've got the standard smart door. Upside flips up and dual 18650s and puppies are just a look. You know, Personally, just looking at the size of the battery compartment there, there's no reason why Smock couldn't have made this their first 2700 battery model. But I'm sure they have one in the works. Let's have a look, put the batteries back in and have a look at the menu. Standard five clicks locks the mod. Five clicks again unlocks the mod. Sorry about the light there, guys. Uh, to access the menu, we've got three clicks. So we've got mode, puff, color, setting, and power. So we'll go through them in order. So we've got mode. Pull in the fire button to access the sub menus. So we've got what temperature control. Looking at the temperature control, you can set the strength of your preheat. So we'll say 70. And I've got Ni200, got titanium, stainless steel, and a round robins. You've got your TCR function also. And temperature wise, centigrade would go up to 315 degrees. Round robins in the Fahrenheit starting at 200, it's up in 10 increments and it was up to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. Back in the mode, choose wattage, set our strength from soft, normal to hard, dependent on your preheat preferences. Back into the menu. Got our puff counter, as you can see, all the 813 puffs. You can set your max puffs, and personally, I never use this setting. This is where the fun starts. So, we've got this where you choose the colors for the lights on the side. So, we'll go back in there. We've got red, green, blue. Yellow, magenta, cyan, and white. Also have RGB, which gives you your red, blue, and green. The rainbow, which cycles through all the colors, obviously. So we'll maybe stick with rainbow. So if we hold in the fire bar to confirm that, we then get another option here. And we've got fade. Jump. Fade is going to fade between the colours. We've got jump, which obviously jumps between the colours. The options for the lights, we've got vaping on, which means they only come on when you hit the fire bar. How much time in the menu there? So you can see. So we've got vaping on. 
turn them off completely. You can have it just when the screen's on, or you can have it always on. Personally, I just keep it as vaping on when you're hitting the fire bar. You can see we've got our wattage. I'll bring that a bit closer. So we've got our wattage there. You can see the N just beside the zero there. That's letting us know that it's in normal mode for the pre-fire. Below that, we've got W. That's us know we're in wattage mode. You've got your ohms, your voltage, your seconds vape, and your battery meters on the side there. But that is pretty much it, guys. So we'll take it back up, have a vape on it. I'll give you my pros, cons, price, and the usual shit. So that was the up and close of the T-Priv kit by Smock with the big baby beast tank. Pros and cons. We'll do pros first. First pro, in my opinion, is the paint job. If we compare it to the old Alien, um, I mean, everybody knows that paint job was absolutely shocking. You know, there was no excuse for it. It was cheap. It was nasty. You just had to look at it and the paint chipped off. The way they've went with this, it's more, it's a higher quality finish. You know, it's it's kind of like a satin finish on it and really well protected. I've been using this now maybe about two weeks and I've had no signs whatsoever of any chipping. I'm not overly gentle with my mods. They're in my pocket, out of my pocket, set on a desk. Comparing it to the Alien, I would have had no pain left by now. <laughs> uh, but this seems a lot more durable and a lot better treated and a lot better finished. So big, big, big pro in my opinion. The fire bar. To me, this has become a standard for smock on the mods they've released recently. Personally, I do kind of like it because you're not sort of fiddling about looking for the button itself. You know, you put your hand on the mod, you're already on the fire button. There has been a few smock mods with the full fire button. The Alien, the h Prove, the X-Cube 2, for example. This fire bar, however, it seems to have a shorter throw on it. You know, it, it makes it feel a lot more instant. Comparing it to the h proof you know, it was quite a long press compared to this. Same with the X-Cube 2. Cons. Biggest con, in my opinion, is the screen. There is no need whatsoever for that screen to be raised. I can't even say it adds to the aesthetic of the mod because I don't see how it does. All that raised screen does is restrict the mod to a maximum of 26 atomizers. That's it. Yes, they do have a cutout at the top as we've seen in the open close, but Again, you're stuck at 26 mil. It's a beefy mod. You know, there's no reason why that screen could have been dropped. Another con would be for the 510 pin. Why not move it into the middle? As we've seen with the new Segeli mod, they have it in the middle. And a few other mods have exactly the same. This allows you to have your 30 mil atomizers on the mods without any overhang, and they just sit flush. And that's perfect. Smock continue to keep it at the front. This seems to be the standard shape, not just with Smock, with quite a lot of manufacturers. This shape seems to be the standard. Where, in my opinion, I don't think it makes sense. You know, if you're wanting to put on a bigger atomizer, that's your choice. You should be able to put it on without any overhang and without a stupid bloody raised screen. Personally, I would have liked to have seen this as a 2700 battery mod. You know, as we look at the battery compartment, it's there's more than enough room there to accommodate two 2700s. Um, I'm sure Smock have their reasoning for it. Don't know what the reasoning is, um, but I'm sure at the rate that Smock put out new devices, I'm sure there's going to be a 2700 mod out very, very soon. To me, this is the tipping point, the LEDs. Is it a pro, is it a con? Personally, I kind of like them. 
you know, it's a fun mod and as we've seen in the menu, you can turn them off, you can have them just on when you're firing the mod, you can have them on constantly. There's a lot of customization. I don't see the point in banning the mod if you're going to turn the lights off. That's the main thing about the mod, you know, it lights up, it's eye catching. But obviously it's going to be a con to some people who maybe see it as a bit cheap, a bit tacky, but no, I, I actually kind of like it. Price wise, T-Proof kit that I've shown you today which includes the Big Baby Beast tank retails for around 65 to 70 pounds. That's sterling here in Great Britain. I think it's worth it. You know, it's a solid, real good solid mod. Decent fire, which is what we expect from Smock. You know, love them or hate them. They do put out some good looking mods. That's just my opinion. Uh, but this, yeah, I really do like it. You know, everything is where it should be, bar, <laughs> again, that bloody screen. Um, but yeah, I do actually kind of like it. Once again, as I did in the last video, uh, just stealing a line from Rip Trippers. If I lost this today, would I go out and buy another one tomorrow? Yeah, I would. Yeah. You know, it's as I said, it's a fun mod. It's a decent mod. It's comfortable in hand. You know, it's a basic smock device with lights added on. That That is it in a nutshell. But it does appeal to me. I do like the lights on it. I will have all the links below for Smock's website and also the links to the E6 shop and I should you wish to purchase the T-Prev kit. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, smash that subscribe button to keep up to date with the channel. There's a lot more reviews coming soon and I will see you again very very soon.